Hey everyone, this is Said. Hope you are doing good. So let's start with the question. So the question is network delay time. Okay, so you are given a network of n nodes labeled from 1 to n. Okay, and you are also given times a list of travel time as directed as times i equal to ui vi wi. Okay, and where ui is the source node, vi is the target node, and wi is the time it taken for a signal to travel from source to target. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to basically we will send a signal from a given node k. So let's say we will send a signal from this node k. You have to return the time it takes for all n nodes to receive the signal. Okay, and if it is impossible for all the n nodes to receive the signal, then return minus one. Okay, so we have given this time array. This is the number of nodes, and this is the starting node. Okay, so let's understand with an example. Okay, so let's see this example. So we have this time array. Okay, so it's like this will be our source. This will be our destination and this will be our time okay so if we design it will be two then you have two will be our source we have a destination let's say this is our one and in between there is an edge and it's taking a time of one okay similarly we have two three one so we have one more edge from two it's three and its time is one okay and we have one more is three four one okay so this will be our four and for this is also taking one okay now we have four nodes and we have given k equal to two okay so what it means you need to start from this position basically you will start from this okay so this will be your current route and you have to traverse all basically let's like from here you can go to here okay from here you can go here and from two also you can reach out to four okay so if we say from two to one you will take a time of one from two to three you will take a time of one from two to four you will take a time of uh for this one plus one like this one and this one is two so you need to give the maximum time whichever it takes so you need to give this as a output okay let's say there is one more node and it's like there is five and there is a six okay so what you can see is like from two we can reach one we can reach three we can reach four but we can't reach five and six so if any node that like if any k that is given to you and you are not able to reach at that like if you're not able to cover all the nodes then you just have to return minus one okay so if i give you the example of minus one this will be an example so we have one okay and one is connecting to two okay and it's having a edge of one now our k is two so we have to start from here okay so if you can see the direction of arrow it's from 1 to 2 not from 2 to 1 so it's a directed graph so it's only have a direction from 1 to 2 so if you have to traverse the one you don't have any edge to go from 2 to 1 so you just return minus 1 for this case also okay so let's see how we will approach this question okay so now we got some intuition behind the question like we need to find uh, like find the distance from one node to every node so it's basically like single shortest you can say path from one node to another okay and it's a famous question in graph for this we generally use a digital algorithm okay so how we will use this extra here we will start from here okay for this extra what we use so let me give you the approach for this extra we basically create a you can say a priority queue and we'll take a distance okay so let me just 
design it like this okay so for digixra we generally use uh, you can say a distance array and we'll take a priority queue so how we will solve it whoever is the root will take its initial value zero and all the other vertices will be marked as infinity okay and we will basically optimize the distance from that current root to its adjacent children okay so it will be like from two you have two children one and three okay so first we will start from our queue we will push this two into our queue so we'll pass two and we'll give its initial value it's zero okay after this we'll move further okay. so like we will not pass the distance because we are creating a separate you can say distance array so we'll take two as a queue in a queue okay and let's do it let's take it it will be easier we don't need the distance array so it will be two zero okay after this what we have to do we will basically pop this and we need to like our priority queue will be sought on the basis of distance okay so whoever distance is less we want that in the first priority okay so you will iterate its children so you have two children from here you have this and you have this okay so from the two you can see this is having a one so you will mark its children as one and you will also update in the queue one and having a value of you can say one okay after this you will move further you will check for this three you can see this is also taking the same so you will update it's like it's a lesser value so whenever it's lesser value you will update and you will mark this as three and will one okay now you are at this point you again go to its neighbor so this is having four so you will go and you check so from here you have infinity but till here it's one and one plus one it's like right now it's infinity and you have one plus one it's two so whoever is the minimum you will take that so you will update it by two and you will just push it so you will push your four and its value is two okay now you solve for this part like they both have nothing so you will just pop this after this you also pop this okay and you will pop this okay so whenever we are updating the distance we will take one result value okay and we will take like at the end we always have the maximum value so we will take our distance always so we always get the maximum value and let's say if you want able to basically reach all the children like if there is five and six will take a and this will be the number of nodes and we always like in every iteration we will do n minus minus and at the end if n is not equal to zero that means there are some visited uh, you can say vertex that is already there which are not iterated uh, so for that we will return minus one otherwise we just return result okay so this will be more clear if we write the code for this okay so what we need we need a map of basically this is given in the time so it's a 2d array and we need to convert this into some you can say agency map or agency list why we take map because in map we can easily get the element that we want so integer will take a map of integer and it will be our integer let me give agency new hash map okay so it will be always like this first is your key like the source is always your key and this is your value and in value you take like this is your destination and this is your you can say time so for that you also take a map so what we'll do for end uh time times we'll do adjacent dot get okay it will be like put if absent let's so we need to initialize the internal map how we will initialize it we'll check if time of zero is null then initialize it after that then just put uh let me just do get time of zero 
dot add or it will be put inside that so it will be time of one and time of two so we have converted this times uh, 2d matrix into uh, agency map okay after this what we need we need a priority queue okay and this will be of a you can say a array type q y it is yeah new priority q okay and we need to add comparator also because we need to tell priority q that you need to sort the basically sort the elements in this order so in we will sort them on the basis of their time so new comparator and we'll just write the comparator public int compare and we'll pass first and we'll give the second and we do a of one minus a basically b of one so it will be like you will sort them on the basis of time okay and what we do we'll push first element so q dot add new integer and we'll give our current root is k and its value is zero like initial time is zero for k then we'll need to take one result variable so which will be start from zero Mm, yeah so now we'll loop over our queue so while our queue is not empty pop the element so we will pop it so remove q dot remove okay so we have removed it now let's find out our current node which is remove of zero and our time equal to remove of one okay so we have find out current node and we have find out time yeah oh, okay i skip one thing we need a visited array because there might be a probability like we will reach the same node again so we'll take a visited array so boolean visited new boolean and it will be n plus one so we need to check if our visited of current node if it is already visited you don't have to do anything you just do continue okay otherwise you will mark your current vertex as visited and yeah you will update your result so result will be this new time and you always decrement your nodes okay and if your n becomes zero you don't have to do anything you just uh, break from here okay yeah so now we will like we have done for the current element now we need to update its children so for int child give me the children so adjacent dot get current node and if we do dot get so this will give me again a map so let me just take the key set for that dot key set okay after this what we need to check first step is to check whether this child is visited or if it is not visited then you have to do so if it is not visited okay i think this is not required earlier you only check it okay so what we will do we will just push it into our queue so q dot add new int and this will be our child and child value is your current time plus adjacent 
dot get like we need to find out the edge value also that so current node dot get child okay yeah we have done with the main logic after this we just return we need to check whether if our n is zero return result otherwise return minus one yeah i think we have covered the all yep so let's run it okay let's see oh so we are getting a runtime error and it's saying null pointer exception why because the return value okay okay so there might be a op like your map is not containing that like it's vertex is there but is not having any edge and you are doing like first you find out the basically the ins internal edges and then you are doing key set so if it is null and you are doing null dot key set it will give the runtime error so we need to check if adjacent dot contains key current node if it is containing this then just do uh, now run it now it will work yeah this is accepted let's submit it cool our code is submitted so the time complexity is uh, like what you are doing is every time one second you are taking like you are processing on every edges and on the basis of priority queue and in priority queue you are storing always the you can say your vertex so updating our queue and inserting over like for all the edges it will be you can say e like e for your edges and for v your vertex so it's e log v basically v log is basically for uh sorting this it every time whenever you are inserting it so yeah like the maximum height it can add is log v and space we are just using a q for solving our equation so q you can say it's order of e so yeah hope you like it thank you for watching and do join the telegram group if you have any doubt and concern thank you